Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm just gonna show y'all some things that I recently purchased from Bath and Body Works. I bought a ton of holiday candles. It may be a ton to some people and not a lot to others because I feel like some people really, really, really go in on their sales and stuff. And I would say I'm a little more modest with how many I purchase. I also bought a lot from Sephora from their semi-annual VIB sale. And I have not participated in this sale in several years. Like I really never buy much. So this year I was kind of like in the celebratory, you know, treat myself, why not? you deserve it type of mentality, which I have not been in several years. I'm gonna start with what I just got from Sephora. So some of these things I've used and some of them I have not yet, but if I have used it, I will let you know what I thought. So one of the first things that I wanted to purchase is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil. I've heard really good things about this whipped argan oil. And it just smells so good, y'all. So I've been using it for like, probably like the past couple days, whenever I get out the shower, like on my whole body and it is just so nice. It's very hydrating. It feels light on the skin, but it's also like extremely moisturizing. I typically use like drugstore body products, um, specifically lotions. So I never really invest in like nicer lotions, but y'all, it feels so nice. And um, the scent that I got is the vanilla bean. And y'all, I love the scent of vanilla. I love smelling like a little, a little treat, a little dessert. And if you're the same way, you will love this. So good, I've been using it on my whole body and it has kept me moisturized, as you can see. Something that I got that I haven't tried yet is this Hourglass Mascara and it says Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. It's in the color Ultra Black. I'm not wearing it today. I have not tried it yet, but I just asked the girl at the register what she would recommend because honestly, y'all, I am so far out of the realm of like what's new in makeup and what's popular. Like a couple years ago, I was really up to speed watching makeup videos all the time. But as of late, like the past few years, I'm not familiar with a lot of these brands. I don't think I've ever purchased anything from Hourglass. I always just buy the same things over and over again every year. So this year I broke that and I was like, let me try some new things. If you tried this before, let me know if you like it. I hope that I do like it. Um, another thing that I got is a Lancome all over concealer and it's their tint idol concealer and i actually used it today i put it back in the package so that this could be like a real haul but yeah i really liked it i used it on my like under eye this like middle part of my face my chin um and i also used it to outline my brows and it was really really nice i like the color i already used the lancome foundation so yeah they kind of go together they match so yeah i really like it and it looks very natural hydrating love that so i purchased another beauty blender i would say i probably buy a new beauty blender like once every six months or so so i would just kind of like you know overdue I also bought the solid unscented cleanser and um, I'm not only going to use the cleanser for my beauty blender. I'm also going to use it for my makeup brushes as well. I typically use like dish soap, but I don't know if that's going to cause me to break out or not. So I'm trying to get to the bottom of what causes my face to break out and something tells me that the dish soap got to go. I did pick up a Fenty what is this gloss bomb cream so essentially like a cream gloss and it's in the color cookie jar this color is very pretty it is like a little bit more orange than i was expecting i tried it on first before putting on like this lip color that i have on now but i'll swatch it so y'all can see it kind of looks like terracotta it's an orangey brown so yeah, should I put it on over this lipstick? Mm, I don't know, I won't, but yeah, it is a really pretty color and I tried it on first and I just decided to go with a matte lip and I will be showing y'all the lipstick that I have on today because it's in the haul. 
So the lipstick that I have on today is from Makeup by Mario, which is another brand that I have never ever got anything from. So like I said, a lot of first. And I really like the packaging. And it's just like this dark, deep brown color. It feels really nice on the lips and it's kind of like magnetic. So I do like this and I want to try some more of their colors, but I wanted something that was kind of like darker than my skin tone for the fall and winter. You know, I can be real basic when it comes to my lip color. So I wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit, but I really like the way the formula feels. It's very like hydrating and it doesn't feel like super dry. Um, I also picked up a lip oil and this is from the brand item and this is what it looks like. I feel like they don't put that much in here. So like when I take the tube out, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, I don't know if it's like showing, but when you take out the little applicant, it literally falls to right here. I don't know if you can see, but they're not, they don't, it's not a lot in here. It's literally like filled up halfway, which is kind of annoying. But anyways, the scent is really nice. It just smells very fruity, kind of like throwback lip gloss from the beauty supply store vibes. Um, and yeah, it's just hydrating. It doesn't really add much color. It comes out very clear, but this is just good for like my no makeup makeup days where I'm just kind of like around the house and yeah okay fine i will swatch it so y'all can see y'all i'm trying not to waste it because there's barely any in here but let me just do it so y'all can see so yeah as you can see it's not much color so it's just good for like every day around the house just want to have something on type of days and it smells really good too so i like that um that's something that i have used so i did get like a black eyeliner from um, the Sephora collection. And then I also got a brown, what is this? Chocolate brown eyebrow pencil. It's kind of like retractable on one side. And on the other side, it has a spoolie. I used this on my brows today and I feel like it, they came out really nice. For a freebie, I got a clear brow gel and I just put that on top of my brows to kind of lock them in. And yeah, I liked everything that I got. Like from the Sephora collection. So I also got the Sephora Favorites Perfume Sampler and it says that the retail value is 118, but the price is 68. So it comes with their like most popular fragrances that are like samples. So you can try out the different samples and then whichever one you like the most after wearing it and trying it, you can bring in this certificate and pick up a full size bottle so yeah i think it's a really good deal because the price of the whole kit is less than the size of the full size bottle so it's just a better deal in general to get this and this is actually a really good uh gift to get somebody so yeah and by the way i will have everything linked below but this is a really good gift to get somebody um and i know that ulta does these as well so yeah i'm excited my initial thought is I'm gonna get black opium because I wanted to just re-up and get black opium. It was one of the scents that I used to wear when my husband Corey and I first met and it's just kind of like a throwback for me. So I wanted to put it back into my collection, but I'm open to trying the other scents and seeing like, you know, if another one persuades me. For skincare, I purchased this Belief Holiday Kit. So I really wanted to just try out this moisturizer but for the price of the moisturizer, it came with these little goodies as well. One is a sleeping mask, one is a makeup remover, and then the other one is an eye gel. Um, and I bought two of these because I'm hoping that I like the moisturizer and then I will have like a backup, an extra. But yeah, so it says it's $38, but the value is $57. Um, I've been using the moisturizer and I like it so far. And I do like the eye gel as well. So I like a gel consistency, like in my moisturizers. Um, the other one's in my bathroom, but this is just kind of like the backup that I purchased. So along with skincare, I decided to purchase this Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. So it says that it removes makeup, sunscreen, and debris. So yeah, basically this is something that you can use to take off makeup 
or like it said, just other things off of your face, like maybe like if you wear SPF, whatever the case may be. And it's just what you use before your um, cleanser. And I'm trying to move away from makeup wipes. I don't feel like all of the uh, friction of me rubbing on my face is good. So I'm trying to move into using like cleansing oils or cleansing balms. And I have used cleansing balms before and oils, but I'm just trying to get back to it. So I've heard really good things about the Dermalogica one. I also picked up all of the products from the Melanin hair care line. Let me try and get it all in the shot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding it, like for what? Anyways. <laughs> So I got the Melanin African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo. I got their Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner and also the Long Lasting Definition Shea Butter. I'm really excited about this. My hair loves a good cream. And then also it's like a multi-use pure oil blend, um, which would be good for like if my scalp is dry or I wanna just add moisture to all of my curls really 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 excited about this like i it's been a while since i've invested in like some new natural hair products but like i said y'all sephora has so many brands that are like new that i have not tried yet so i'm like okay let me get back let me get back out there i do get a decent amount of stuff in pr but i don't get everything or even close to half of everything <laughs> so i'm like let me try something new and what better time than during the sale so if y'all are not familiar um an influencer, content creator, one of the OGs, uh, Whitney, AKA Natural 85. Yeah, 85. This is her line. I've been following her for years and I've been wanting to try it ever since it's been an Ulta. And I'm gonna probably try it on my next wash day to see how my curls like them. I'm really excited about that. I always use a gel though. So I don't know how it's gonna work out with no gel, but I'm, I'm gonna trust the process. last thing that I got from Sephora is a fragrance. Y'all know it's a good time to purchase fragrance during these sales. Corey and I, my husband, we went to, we went to um, Sephora like prior to the sale and we smelled different scents to see what we would like. And this is one that he loved on me. <laughs> he said that it made me smell like a cinnamon roll and he just loved it, so. But yeah, I loved it as well. I would not wear it if I did not, but he loved it, loved it on me. So this is the scent Angels Share by Killian. And this is what it looks like. I think the packaging looks very luxe. And I will say this is gonna be the most expensive perfume in my collection for the least amount of perfume, but yeah, it just smelled really unique. So I'm gonna spray it today. I did not wear perfume yet, solely for this moment with y'all. It smells really good, y'all. <laughs> it smells like fall. It smells like dessert. Like, if you are the type of person that likes to smell like a sweet treat, you will really like this. I saw in the reviews that people said it smelled like apple pie. I personally don't get apple pie, but I do just get like dessert in general. Let me do one on my shirt. Yeah, it just smells really good. So if you're looking for like a new scent for like date night or just for yourself, like you wanna smell good for yourself, I would highly recommend it. And the lasting power is great. So you don't need to spray a lot. Um, this is a parfum and not a toilette. So yeah, really, really, really excited about this. I feel like as soon as Corey comes home, he's gonna, he's gonna be like <gasps> brought back to life. <laughs> Two things that I got from YSLbeauty.com. I got some colognes for Corey, like I said, we went to Sephora, smelled things, settled on a fall perfume for myself, and then settled on a fall fragrance for him. I will say though, at YSL Beauty, like their website, they had a better deal. So with the Sephora sale, I got 15% off because I'm not a rouge, so I didn't get 20% off. But um, with 
YSL, they have buy one, get one free on select fragrances. And the one that he liked happened to be in there. That's why y'all gotta do your due diligence, okay? But the cologne, I will put the notes up on the screen for like all the fragrances, but it's very nice. It smells nice, it smells like fall, but it's not overbearing, it's not super musky. It doesn't have like an old man scent, but it's just enough. It smells kind of earthy, I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, I'll put it up on the screen because I'm not used to describing men's fragrances, but it's very nice. He's been wearing it um, since we got it in the mail and I approve. So if you're looking for something to get your man or your brother or your cousin, your daddy, <laughs> y'all, I don't know. Just know that this is a good one. I have no idea how to pronounce this. So the one that we got for free is YSL and I think the scent is just called Y because that's all that's on here. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is just good for like every day, not specific to fall, but like if your man or whatever wants to just smell fresh, this is a good one for every day. Really, really like them. So we have not purchased like new fragrances in a really long time. So that was well overdue. But yeah, that is everything <laughs> that I got from Sephora. So that's that. Really quick, I'm just gonna go through the candles that I got from um, Bath and Body Works. I think that these will last us like all of the holiday season. I got like five candles. So the first one is Winter Candy Apple. And it smells like apple, but in a Christmassy like cranberry type of way. So basically it says that it has candied apples, crisp pears, oranges with natural essential oils, so yeah, it's apple, pear, orange. So it smells like fruity and sweet, but it also smells like the holidays too. Very nice. I think this is one that we threw in last because he comes with me and we smell together to see what we both like. Uh, yeah, we do this like for every season. <laughs> Cause I love making the house feel like a home with fragrance. Like it literally, it truly does set the tone for the holidays in any season. So the next one that I got is Spiced Gingerbread. This one smells nice. Like I feel like this is good for like the evening time, nighttime, watching a movie, you know, watching a TV show, whatever the case may be. Like basically life after dinner time. It smells very good. And it says that it has vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg with natural essential oil. So yeah. It just smells like a nice cozy night in with like some spice on it. I think that's it's probably the nutmeg, but it has a nice spice. So the next one is gingerbread marshmallow. So I feel like anybody who likes marshmallow fireside has to like if it has marshmallow in the title, you owe it to yourself to smell it. And this one is like very, very rich. Yeah, I burned this one already. I think maybe for like an hour or so, like when I first got these candles, could not help myself. So it says gingerbread spice, eggnog, spiced rum, vanilla frosting, brown sugar crystals <laughs> with natural essential oils. So yeah, it's like the gingerbread spice, spiced rum, like those are what makes it smell so rich. But then it has the vanilla, the eggnog, the brown sugar. It's just, it's a very rich scent and it's very, it's not a light scent. If you prefer your scents to be very light and airy, this is not the one. But if you want your house to smell like you just finished making a thousand gingerbread cookies, then give it a shot. I like it. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. So I had to re-up on Marshmallow Fireside. Whenever it's the fall time or the winter time and they have a sale that I'm purchasing at, this is just fail proof. It's just nostalgic to me at this point, honestly. It just smells so cozy. And it's very similar to the scenario that I um, described earlier, just like watching movies, just Christmas time, any time in the evening, this is my go-to. So it has toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber with natural essential oils. If you've never had marshmallow fireside, I'm gonna need you to get to it. It's so good. So lastly, this is the one that Corey picked out. Um, you know, I always let him pick out something. Like obviously, like the scents that I like, he likes too, 
but I always like him to pick out something that he likes. It doesn't really have to be something that I like, but what do you want? You know, what's your type of scent? What's your vibe? So he picked out under the Christmas tree and it has a very strong like piney scent. When it's the holidays, he likes the smell of like a Christmas tree, even though we don't use a real Christmas tree, he still likes this scent. And I don't mind it. It feels, it smells very fresh. So like I would do this probably more so towards the morning or, you know, the afternoon. I wouldn't say that this is like an evening scent, but more so like all day. So it has fear, F-I-R, is that how you spell it? Fear? I don't know. So it has fear balsam, <laughs> juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves with natural essential oils. So yeah, it smells good. And there is a little vanilla in there. And then y'all, my favorite scent I feel like is vanilla. So I like it as well. But yeah, that is everything for my haul. I tried to breeze through it as quick as possible. I honestly do not shop like this, like a shopping spree this often, but you know what? Tis the season, okay? So yeah, from here, I guess I'll pick y'all up. I am about to make Corey and myself some chili. I just have some turkey that's gonna be going bad today. So I'm just gonna make some turkey chili and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Y'all, I'm getting in the mood for the holidays and um, Trader Joe's has like the best stuff for holidays, the snacks, the treats, little things that just get you in the mood. So yeah, we're gonna be hitting up Trader Joe's in a little bit. Now I'll let y'all know if we find anything good. about to go to Trader Joe's. Corey asked me if I could do a handstand. I haven't done a handstand in probably a good 15 years, but I, gosh, I love a challenge. I am uh, out of breath because I've been trying. I can't yet. I, I will do it though. Just not yet. Maybe tuck your shirt in in the front. In the front? Yeah. I haven't done a handstand in a long time. It's not too bad. A little, little momentum up there. Can I stick my feet? I'm seeing stars. <laughs> Can I stick <laughs> my feet on the wall? I think you need, your hands need to be very close to the wall if you do that. If it's too close, I'm gonna hit it and fall. Oh, snap. Okay, I'll do one more. <laughs> I'm oh, actually, snap. I wanna actually hit the wall though. <laughs> you want to? Yeah. So you can hang up there a little bit? Yeah. You didn't think I'd be able to do one? I am impressed. I just never seen you do nothing like this. I used to take gymnastics. I ain't As a never child. seen you behave like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> I mm. might have pulled something in my shoulder, but I still got it. All right. As soon as I came home, Corey smelled my fragrance, and he was like, "Is that the is that the apple pie?" <laughs> Babe, come smell me. It's on my neck. Mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but we're about to head to Trader. Trader, Trader, Trader. So I switched out of what I had on earlier, but this is my outfit. Kind of like just leggings, turtleneck. And I'm wearing leggings because I'm gonna have on this like oversized, or not oversized, but like a longer coat. And this is from Eddie Bauer. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know, but I've been working with Eddie Bauer all year. So I have like a, a lot of coats, <laughs> but I really like this. It's warm, it's a little bit more casual. Hey bae, let's see your coat. Corey has on one of his coats as well. And yeah, it's one of my consistent partnerships. Yeah, I really like it. Y'all, I love Olive. It's just something, Something about Olive, it always does it for me.
So I just got back from Trader Joe's. Our location did not have a lot of things right now for the holidays, but they did have these mini gingerbread people and we got some eggnog. We're probably just gonna drink a little bit of eggnog when we put up our tree. Uh, we don't just drink it like, you know, every day or anything. And then Corey picked up this Holiday Crisp protein bar. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go back to Trader Joe's like in another week or so just to, you know, see what else they have at that time. Because right now the pickings were slim. They did not have much. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here, take off my makeup, put on my pajamas, light a candle and just kind of chill for the night. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this kind of like chill vlog. I hope you enjoyed the haul part of it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. But until next time, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.